I want to tell you about a dream that I had not too long ago. It was the first rapture dream I've ever had. I wasn't thinking about the rapture. One night I went to bed and I had this dream. There's a place uh, I live up here. Um, it's an arcade that me and my kids go to a lot. And one day I was in this arcade. It was me, my, both of my boys, and one of uh, the guys that I work with that I minister to a lot. And he's one of those people that for some reason he's been asking me questions and uh, wanting, he's been really curious about God and, and, the, and the Bible all of a sudden. And in this dream, we're in the arcade and we're having fun and we're just doing our thing. And all of a sudden, I just know it's time. I just know. And I grab my kids and I go to find my coworker. And I can't find him anywhere. And uh, I, I, I'm looking all over the place. And I go in the back room and I find him. And ironically enough, he is laying on a couch with a blanket pulled over his head, sleeping. And I go and I shake him and I shake him and I pull the blanket off his head and I was like, man, we got to go right now. It's over. And everything starts getting dark and the power starts acting strange, you know. And again, it's like it's like when lightning hits. The Bible talks about, and this actually just dawned on me, like lightning from the east to the west. The sun, a man will come in the sky. And it was like lightning hit. You know, when lightning hits, the power starts acting funny. That's the way it was in the dream. And I shook him and I pulled the blanket off his head. And he's like, oh, man, I just need five more minutes. And throws the blanket over my over his head. And I knew in that very moment, that was it. I got to go. I grab my kids. We head out the door and I wake up. Now, there are people, it's going to happen. That I don't know if you can see the goosebumps. My hair is standing up. It's going to happen that fast. It's going to happen that fast. There's no time for repentance. There's no time to make things right. That's it. You're done. You know. You got to do it now. Just do it now. It's, nobody wants to go through the process of forgiveness. Nobody wants to go through the process of repentance and getting filth out of your life. But you got to get ready. You're the bride. We are the bride of Christ. And if you're not a member of the Bride of, Bride of Christ, you're watching this video because Jesus wants you to be. He says, confess with your mouth that I am Lord, and you're saved. That's it. Confess. Lord, cry, cry out, Lord, save me. I don't want to be here. I want to go to heaven. If it's from your heart and it's real, he will save you. I make these videos because I, I care, man. I feel this stirring in my heart. Again, goosebumps again. I feel this, man, I've never been, for whatever reason, as, as all the times that I've had visions, dreams, all that stuff, I've never been that susceptible, I think that's the right word, to the Holy Spirit and just feeling like His presence really strong. I, I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because, I don't know why. But, man, in this video right now, I, f I feel Him. I, I just, He's prompting me to make this. It's It's not too late if you're watching this video, if you're hearing me. But there will be a, a second, a twinkling in the eye, like a thief in the night, gone. And you can still be saved, but I'm, I promise you, you don't want to go through this. It's going, it's, it's, it's going to be straight up freaking creepy, sci-fi stuff. It's going to be you can't hide. You, you have to. It's, it's. I'm telling you, it's going to be more jacked up than we could ever dream. God has been showing me. It is crazy the stuff that men are doing, and they're going to lose control. Let me uh, rephrase that. They're not going to lose control. Satan is going to let loose. Everything that man's created for him is going to let loose. It is bat poop crazy. If I cussed, I would have said a cuss word right there because I want to express how. It is crazy. And it's right around the corner. Repent. Just do it. Don't care what anybody else says. You know how many people are going to be left behind saying, man, I wish I would have taken that advice. I'm not talking about just for me. Anybody, anybody who feels the prompting of Jesus is going to be talking about this stuff. It's not about me. I don't care. I don't want to be on here talking about this stuff. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm a pretty private guy. I do it because I want you to be ready. I'm not worthy. I'm not good enough. I'm, <laughs> I'm not but I know he makes me good enough by his right. I lean on his righteousness.